interested to see what it does here. We are going up here on the left and it is just driving in the middle. I'm taking over. Pretty horrible job. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror and Okay, we finally got another software update. This is 2024.15.15. You can see it right here. And this is finally the FSD version 12.4.3 vision based attention this looks a little bit different here um, and that is because there should be no more steering wheel nag on this particular this 12.4.3 so it's interesting this blurb here specifically says when the camera uh, can see your eyes without sunglasses so i typically wear sunglasses during the day while i'm driving so i will be wearing sunglasses during this drive and we will see if it does require the torque based steering wheel monitoring instead of relying just on the camera. All right, let's jump right into a test. Okay, coming to up to a stop sign here, you can see the new visuals. It's full screen and we have this beautiful map up here in the corner, full stop here. Again, this is the newest FSD beta, another stop, although it is clear to my left and then it does pull out into the road. So over this drive, we're going to see a lot of stop signs, possible, uh, possibly a roundabout, um, and then some highway driving. And just like Tesla recommends, I'm going to keep my hands on the wheel or close to it, ready to take over. Pedestrian in this bike lane here, no slowdown, not needed at all. We do have a pedestrian crossing here with a couple dogs. It does start to slow down as it sees that. A little bit jerky there, and I did feel like back there on that residential road where it did start to curve a little bit, that it was a bit more cautious, and I felt like um, it was slowing down a bit more than the last software. Stop sign here, blinker comes on. We're gonna come to a full stop, just like the previous update. Full stop here, and then we're gonna see it when it creep forward. There is no traffic here. Blinker is on, very hesitant here. I just wanna make sure that I am in assertive and you can do that by clicking this right steering wheel and I am in assertive in terms of the autopilot setting. Now it needs to transition all the way over into this left-hand turn lane. One more lane over and it does get into the correct lane. And then we're gonna wait here at this red light for our turn to make a left turn. Light turns green, our blinker is on and it's gonna immediately go and make this left-hand turn. Very smooth, very assertive. Excellent job by the FSD. So you did see a blue thing pop up there. I am wearing sunglasses again, like I mentioned uh, when we were going over the release notes. So it looks like because I am wearing sunglasses that it is still requiring that, um, since I can't see my eyes, that I am being attentive and my hands are on the wheel. You can see another um, steering wheel force come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just for testing purposes, I've removed my sunglasses now, so I don't have sunglasses on and I'm curious to see if it st does still give me the steering wheel nag. Coming up to this construction zone here, you can see it slows down to 45 and we have to veer over onto the other side of the road. No hesitation by the FSD. Excellent job following the car in front of us. Relatively smooth slowdown by the FSD, although I would have liked to have seen it slowed down a little bit more. Hard to tell in the video, but traffic was stopped ahead and it actually used some of the brake. You can tell by uh, it showed a gray part at the end of the green arrow, indicating that that regen and then it used um, the brake a little bit. So right turn signal comes on and making that right hand turn in this construction area and doing a great job. Perfect by the FSD. Again, that little slowdown to that stop traffic was just very small nitpicky thing. It did fine and it was smooth. It just could have slowed down a little bit sooner to maximize that region. Me as a driver, I think would have slowed down a little bit sooner because I already saw the traffic ahead of me was stopped. A bit of a slowdown there before it comes up over this hill crest right here. A few other pedestrians on the side of the road here in the bike lane. Let's see, it does slow down because it does not have space to move over. 
And so we just got some slow down there, which is fun. We are making a left turn at this stoplight, a little bit of slow down here, going into that left-hand turn lane, no left turn signal yet. Now the left turn signal comes on, we do have a green arrow, so it should continue through. Smooth left turn. Excellent job by the FSD. Coming up to a red light, we do have stop traffic. Let's see if it does it again. So the brake lights came on for the car in front of us and it started slowing down. So the FSD started slowing down as soon as this car in front of us started slowing down. Nice to see. That was a bit smoother than the last stoplight um, where I did critique how quickly it slowed down and had to use some of the braking instead of just regen. So choosing the left lane here, although we are making a right hand turn coming up in a couple of traffic lights. Now the right turn signal comes on and it transitions over into this right lane. Right turn signal comes on. We're gonna use this little merge area. There is a little merge area. And we should just carry through. There is no need for us to stop. It slows down almost to a stop, but does not. And then confidently makes this, um, utilizes this merge lane to get onto this highway. We do have a cyclist up here on the shoulder. FSD did slow down a little bit, although it's way over there on the shoulder. Just slowing down while we're passing the cyclist. Still interesting to me that we are on a 60 mile per hour road and we're going 57. And again, I do have autopilot settings in assertive. So it should be going over 60 miles an hour, but I think because there's not a lot of traffic around me, it's unable to judge how fast it, it should go on this particular road. Do have some traffic coming up here on the left-hand lane, so let's see if it goes, does increase its speed. Now I'm getting a please pay attention to the road. I think I've been looking at this too much. Again, I do have my sunglasses off. Significant slowdown here. They have a warm-up lane, so not sure why the FSD chose to slow down. Now they're thinking I'm slowing down to let them over. And now the right turn signal comes on, which is completely incorrect because that is just a simple warm up lane. So pretty bad job by the FSD there, slamming on the brakes. Thankfully there's no traffic behind me. Um, slamming on the brakes, seeing this Jeep come and merge. It's interesting to me that it's choosing to stay in this right-hand lane behind some slower traffic. It could get into the left-hand lane and go a little bit faster. And again, I feel like on assertive, I want to see it be more assertive. I turned the turn signal on here. We did have some traffic stopped over there. It didn't look like the FSD was going to get over. Now I'm going to turn the turn signal back over here. I guess that does count as an intervention for me. Significant slowdown here again. The speed limit is 65 miles an hour. There's limited traffic in front of us and I'm not sure why it slowed down. You can see that we just passed a 65 mile an hour speed limit sign and it's still reading on our screen incorrectly at 55 miles an hour. Pretty smooth slowdown there with the stop traffic at the stoplight. That highway has ended and we are heading into a more city type environment. So let's see how the FSD beta does. So I'm getting a please pay attention to the road, although I was looking straight out uh, the front. Again, I don't have sunglasses on. I have noticed that I haven't gotten this traditional steering wheel nag, although that's the second time I've gotten to please pay attention to the road, and I'm just looking straight out of the windshield. I have to give a huge thank you out to Man Cave Colorado. Man Cave Colorado is a detail shop that offers ceramic coating along with window tenting and paint protection film. 
I got my personal car done here and they did a fantastic job. If you have a cyber truck, I really suggest going over to Man Cave, Colorado. The owner has been experimenting with his cyber truck, so they are definitely the experts. So go to mancavecolorado.com right now to schedule your appointment. Right turn coming up here at this traffic light. So far through this little city-ish area, uh, it's been doing a good job. It's probably gonna come to a full stop here, but then I think we're gonna have some cross traffic, so it is gonna have to wait, although it is open right now if it goes. Another full stop here, it still has time to go, and it does decide to go. Great job by the FSD. So we're kind of off the main drag of Longmont. We do have to make a left-hand turn, and our destination is gonna be up here on the left. Interested to see what it does here. We are going up here on the left and it is just driving in the middle. I'm taking over, pretty horrible job. So the <laughs> our destination point is on this side of the road and it just decided to get right over. So we are gonna make a U-turn here um, to get to the destination point. So overall, I was impressed with the FSD 12.4.3, but it wasn't something that was you know, over the top exciting. I feel like it was pretty on par with the last software. I'm sure as I test it further in future videos, I will see some noticeable improvements in some other areas. As we get closer to a full self-driving that is unsupervised, it's gonna be harder and harder to see between versions where the improvements are. So definitely if you're interested in seeing those future videos on this software and every other software update, as soon as my car gets it, hit subscribe to this channel.